Hey guys, GMW Gaming here, back once again with another video. If I don't feel, uh, sorry, if I don't sound that enthusiastic, I'm not really, I'm not in the uh, right frame of mood at the moment, uh, but I thought I'd do this video anyway. Um, this is for window banners, or if you want a, so obviously on the top here, or uh, if you look there, normally the you know i call the stickers and all that say like on the windscreen you know that some people don't know how to do them um as you've seen i've actually done this skin myself along with that and that uh, i don't know if this one here got released uh, i think it, if i remember rightly it did i also did that one but today we'll do this so what you want to do is you want to go to showroom and you want to wait for it to load up and you want to click on the glass now i know that with this there's already a uh there's already a template for it um but if there isn't what you want to do is you want to click on here and you want to click on sorry that's the inner part sorry about my phone going off uh, you want to click on the dots here and then generate ao as far as I'm aware, I don't think it really matters what uh, what size you do it. Um, as far as I'm aware, and then that will give you that. <coughs> you want to save it. I'll just do it quickly at the moment, just to say where to put it. So you want to go save, and then you want to find your folder, go to skins, obviously find out which one you want. And you want to name it whatever the texture is called. So in my eyes, it will be glass. So save it as glass. Before you do this, you need to download a program, um, which is the NVIDIA DDS. I'll link it in the description if you haven't got it. Uh, but it's a free, it's a free program. Well, it's more than a, it's almost like a plugin for Photoshop. Um, but yeah, we'll get going. So. As you see here, this is how it will end up. Obviously, I've got that from the templates folder, which is in the DSGS15 folder, which is that one there. There's two, there's a DDS, which is that one, which is what the game reads, and then there's a Photoshop version here. Now, this is a Photoshopped one. If you don't really want to do, oh no, sorry, ignore that. Uh, so what we do is, to me, this window banner is too low. So if you have a look here, that's obviously where the window banner would end up being. Now to me, I don't really like that. I like it a little bit higher up. So I'm just going to move this up. So I'll just move this down a little bit more. So to me, I like it roughly about, about there. Um, so yeah, so that's that's where I want it anyway. So what you want to do is obviously you want now want to put a logo or you want to put text or something there. But what I'll, I'll do is I will use um, I'll use their logo with the I'll use this logo here, and I'll um, I'll use that one for it. So oh, would help if I was clicked on there. Already got it in there. So got it here. I'll try and find a transparent one, so hopefully, it, yep, that one there will do. And then copy, uh, go to here, control V. And then what I normally tend to do is I normally tend to just change the, uh, change the overlay. Oh, not yet. What am I doing? Uh, I tend to delete the background first, and then obviously get rid of any of the A's or anything. Then what I tend to do is because normally it's a black, it's black here. So just so then I can reference everything, I normally do that. Get rid of that because I don't really want it. And then Control T, that'll bring it up. So then you don't have to go to Edit and then Free Transform and then again. It basically just sets it like that. And then obviously you can scale it to however you want. But obviously I'm not going to go all the way up here because it'll just end up cutting out on the windscreen a little bit so just for an example i'm just going to leave it there and then what i'll do is i'll make my top layer back to black like so now if 
you don't see anything, make sure that this layer here, your main layer that's at the back, just make sure that that's at the, right down at the very bottom here. And then you should be all right with that. Next, what you want to do is you want to go to your channels and then, oh no, sorry, what you want to do is you want to select whatever design it is. So in my eyes, I'll just quickly do, quickly click it like that and then click the inside of the A and then control shift I and what that will do is that will invert it so then it's literally just the text itself I then go back to my channels click on alpha so it's like that and then what I'll do is I'll press delete uh, sorry I won't press delete I will get this one and I'll make it white so brush make it white go over it and that normally that should now when I go back to here it should now say in game that I've now got that so what I want to do is I want to go to file save as uh, I'll go to recent because I've already been in this folder before click on DDS because it has to be a DDS now what I was saying about the name before when you were saving the file is because if I was to name that sorry, skin body it won't show up on the glass it would show up all over the car so as long as you've got your texture name right it will show up so click OK if this is the first time using this uh, software just copy them and then click save see there we go so if you don't want if you want that bit there black all that you'd have to do is just go back to here turn off that go back to your layers select your layer and then do that go back to your channels turn that back on and then just press delete uh, no sorry uh, just color it in again so then obviously all this lot here is black wrong one like that save it again so DDS uh, wrong one sorry DDS glass okay okay again and then there we have it now on some cars that's why I meant about I'm not gonna go that uh, that high up because it obviously cuts it off now some cars have inner glass also which obviously you can't really see you can't see it can you so what you want to do is you want to click on the glass and then click it again if it comes up with this copy that and then what you want to do you want to go back to photoshop save as leave everything how it was go back to the original folder that you're in this time you want to name it whatever the whatever this one here was so copy paste and then save leave all the settings the same as how they were before and when you go back there you go it's on the inside now say for example you only wanted that to show the text to only show on the outside but on the inside you just want a black banner all that you do is go into here, remove the text, obviously it's the same there, go back to your channels and always make sure that your alpha channel is selected like that whenever you save, uh, save for the glass. But this time instead of, instead of saving as glass we want to go to the interior glass. Yep. And then there you have it. So obviously you've got outside, inside. As for the lights, if I remember rightly, when I did this one here, if I was to just go straight into Photoshop, uh, hide that, and just paint that straight away, I'm pretty sure that it's just going to make the whole so say for example I wanted them gold for example I'm pretty sure that if I just did that 
it would literally make the whole thing just gold, but you wouldn't be able to see the light or anything. So, don't forget, as always, make sure that you have that selected. Uh, that's not going to work because Alpha Channel is on. Go back to RGB and go back to here. Now I'm pretty sure when I save, uh, where are we going? I'm sure they're just going to go straight back to gold. Yep, see, like that. So. What I'll do is I will open and then I will go down to if I can remember where it was. Um what did I name it again? I named it Westlake Tires. So Westlake and then go to Glass. Right, so if I remember rightly then, I didn't actually do a, I didn't do an alpha channel on that, by the looks of things. So, we'll make that, put that back to how it should be. And save again. They're not really that gold, really, though, are they? So let's try a different color. Let's try red. Uh, okay. Um, obviously make sure that that's selected. Make the brush a little bit bigger. Uh, red. I do apologise, this is my first pretty much tutorial. So I do apologise. Um, save that again. Yep, there you go. And that's how you do that. And then obviously you'd uh, obviously I've got rid of them somehow. Now oh, there we go. Um, but yeah, make sure obviously if you save the inner glass one, make sure that you've got all your text back and everything for that outer part. Because otherwise you're just going to end up like what I did there. So you'd have to go back in, do that. Then save again. Uh, no, we don't want that. Yeah. So obviously there we go. And obviously you could do the back glass. You could do the side. You can even do backlights. So say if I wanted the backlights, uh, let's say a little bit darker, because that's how we. Let's just say that's how we roll. Exit that, go back to that. Obviously, front lights, back lights. Uh, let's go for black. We'll just do it on the same layer. I've actually never tried doing the back lights in black, so this will be a first. Um, back to that. There we go. Save. I don't really think that's done much, has it really? There's only one way to find out. No, it's not. It's not that done anything that I'm aware of. Um, no, let's try. Oh, no, it went because it's an alpha channel. So, black. Uh, that's my bad, sorry. It, it, it won't, it won't. So, what we'll do then is let's try a different colour then. 
Let's try. Let's try blue. Um, what was that again? Who's a player? Oh, that's because I'm on the wrong one. Obviously, it's a rush, like I said, for the first one, so it's not going to be the best, but I'll, I'm sure I'll get better at them. Plan them out a little bit more instead of just jumping straight into it. And there we have it. I prefer it was stock, to be honest. But yeah, that's how, that's pretty much how you do alpha, or window banners. Um, if you've got any questions, just ask me on, on here. Or if you are on Facebook, uh, I think it's, I'll link, I'll link my Facebook below if you need any, if you want to ask me any questions. Um, I'm in most of the... Um, I'm in most of the groups anyway so you might be able to find me in there um, but yeah thanks for watching uh, I hope this was I hope this could do you any favours but like I said I'm not really feeling the best today um, but yeah thank you and goodbye